Hello, scholars. I am Benjamin Franklin, your mentor for today's exciting journey into the world of calculus. We will be diving into the concept of integration by parts for definite integrals, a fundamental tool in calculus. I assure you, this will be an engaging and enlightening experience. So, let's get started. Integration by parts for definite integrals. Let's begin by understanding the key concept. Integration by parts formula. The formula for integration by parts for definite integrals is integral from a to b of u dv equals u v evaluated from a to b minus the integral from a to b of v du. Now, let's apply these steps to an example problem. We are asked to find the volume of the solid obtained by revolving the region bounded by the graph of f of x equals e to the power of negative x, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x equals 1 about the y-axis. The best option to solving this problem is to use the shell method. Begin by sketching the region to be revolved, along with a typical rectangle. See the following graph. To find the volume using shells, we must evaluate 2 pi times the integral of x times e to the power of negative x over 0 to 1. To do this let u equals x and dv equals e to the power of negative x. These choices lead to du equals dx and v equals negative e to the power of negative x. Substituting this into the integration by parts for definite integral formula, we get the following. Evaluate the integral in the second term. Now, substitute back into the volume expression. Substitute. Simplify, we get 2 pi minus 4 pi over e. Now, let's summarize our solution. The volume is 2 pi minus 4 pi over e. Well done, scholars. We have successfully navigated through the concept of integration by parts for definite integrals and applied it to a practical problem. I hope this journey has been as enlightening for you as it was for me. Remember, the beauty of mathematics lies in its application. So, keep practicing and keep exploring. Until next time, happy learning!